Hello, my name is Chhatrigiri with Avaya Communication Manager Enablement Services Team and this video is about configuring SIP trunks in Avaya Communication Manager. The first step in configuring the SIP trunks in Communication Manager would be to verify the system capacity. Go to display system parameters and customer options go to page number 2 and verify that there are enough number of SIP trunks available right now in this system the maximum administered SIP trunks is 24,000 and the number of SIP trunks used is 0 now the next step would be to configure a node name for the other party to which we are establishing the SIP link type change node names and IP go to the node name section and add a new entry here for the other SIP entity to which we are establishing the SIP link so I'm adding a SIP link to Avaya system manager which is at 10.133.128.74 here and save this data by typing F3 and the next step would be to configure a IP codec set type change IP codec set and some number right now this IP codec set 1 will be used in our SIP communication link this IP codec set consists of only G7 and ALA if required add additional codecs here And the next step would be to configure a couple of IP network regions. One IP network region will be called as near end IP network region, and other IP network region will be called as far end IP network region. The near end IP network region will include the resources in Avaya Communication Manager end, which is uh, IP phones, our media gateways, our CLAN boards, all the elements that exist in Avaya Communication Manager end will be configured under the near end IP network region and the and the other third party entity will be configured under the far end IP network region let's call that the IP network region 1 is configured as near end IP network region and IP network region 2 will be configured as far end IP network regions type change IP network region 1 go to page number 4 and make sure that there is connectivity between IP network region 1 and IP network region 2 using IP codec set 1 which we just configured save this data by pressing F3 right now IP network region 1 is configured to have connectivity with IP network region 2 using the IP codec set 1 just verify the same data in IP network region 2 also type display IP network region 2 and go to page number 4 and verify that there is a connectivity between IP network region 1 and IP network region 2 using the IP codec set 1 and the next step is to configure a signaling group and a trunk group <coughs> type add signaling group 
and some value. Now this will take you to the signaling group form. In the signaling group type, type zip. And type an appropriate domain name, appropriate node name for the near end node name. Right now, on the near end, I will be using the Procur. So I use Procur here. In the far end node name section, type the far end uh, node name that you have already configured in change node names IP configuration. So here I have to give ASM, give an appropriate foreign network region here, configure a foreign domain name and then save this form using F3. And the next and the last step would be to add a trunk group. Type add trunk group and some number. Now in the trunk group on group type use zip. Give an appropriate name for uh, appropriate group name for this trunk group. Let's say it's CM to ASM. Configure a, a trunk access code here. In the services type, give type. In signaling group section, give 20, which we just configured, and configure as many number of trunks that you want here. Here I have configured the number of trunks as 10. Just go through the different forms in the trunk group on page by page. If required, make any additional changes here. Otherwise, the same default configuration can be used as it is. Save this form using F3. Now we have successfully configured a signaling group and trunk group for a SIP connectivity between communication manager and ASM. You can verify the status of the signaling group by using the command status signaling group and signaling group number. Right now this signaling group between communication manager and ASM is in service. And this is how you configure SIP trunking in Avaya Communication Manager. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.